Hello, and this is my first official video. The other three that I have on my page, I don't count because they didn't get many views. So, I'll be doing a playthrough of Portal 2. I'll show any of the achievements I come across. I've already got most of them, so they, it won't say. I'll have to tell you. And then also, I might find some Easter eggs that I'll show you. And one warning is that this will contain spoilers for people who have not played the game and want to. for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Wasn't very gymnastic. There's a painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Thing is, I don't even need to. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. I don't even see where the speakers are in the room. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. I want to know what technology they use to keep you alive that long. Anyone in there? Oh, and here's my favorite character. You look um good. Good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You really want to hang on. Yeah. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, for some reason the character of this game cannot speak. I don't understand why. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. I didn't know but brain damage could have right? be a minor uh, case you, if it's you serious. Try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, you can already see the cracks in the wall. To you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on. And there's a reason why I'm standing back here. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? I don't uh, think so. Just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen. 
we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Uh, no, the docking station is below that. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't this worry, is the last crash. Around. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, Let's see what this clipboard says. It warns us of falling cubes, cubes hitting our head, something I can't tell, energy balls, uh, dangerous water, jumping off ledges to fling through portals, being shot by turrets, something I don't understand that looks like a drinking fountain, and cake. and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through this will come important. material emancipation drill, which vaporizes most aperture science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation drill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Okay, on that note, I'm going to stop the video here for now, since this is just my first one, and we'll pick up on it later.